Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Hello to all my subscribers. Thank you guys so much, I appreciate you. Anybody that's not subscribed, please make sure you click subscribe below and then you get all of my videos every Friday. Um, yeah, so this video is on keto mozzarella sticks. So this should be a quick, easy video. Um, so let's get right into it. I'm gonna show you everything that you need. Okay, so the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our mozzarella cheese sticks and we're gonna cut them in half. So get about six of them. That's how I saw the recipe. So take about six um, and then cut them in half, okay? So I'm gonna show you. Next step, take the egg and you just put it into the bowl and whisk it. You don't need to add any seasoning or anything. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is get a plastic bag and then we're gonna put all the ingredients to make the coating um, in this bag so it'll be easier to like coat it. So, I'll show you all the ingredients now. I forgot to say in the beginning, you need some salt. I like to use the pink salt, but you don't have to use that. Use iodized, whatever, just regular salt. This is how much you get. I feel like I'm gonna need some more. So I might just double this because it's 12 like pieces over there. So I think I'm gonna just double this real quick and then I'll be back after I double it. Okay, now like nip hustle, double up. Okay. There we go. So this is double, this looks better. So now all we do is get the cheese, dip it in the egg, put it in our mixture. And then you're gonna get something flat to put them on, get a piece of parchment paper, and then we're gonna put them in a the freezer for an hour. So I'm gonna roll fast through that process, okay? All right, so I got all 12 um, coated up. So now I'll just take them and put them in the freezer. So let's go over here. Put right, in. Then you just let those freeze for one hour. That's it. Okay, so it's been an hour. So I'm gonna take out my mozzarella sticks and I'm gonna show you what they look like. So, since I have my air fryer, you know, I wanna use it every chance that I get. I'm gonna do, I don't even wanna say half. I'm gonna do like three or four in my air fryer and I'm gonna do the rest in the skillet on the stove. So, I have my air fryer going at 350. I'm gonna do it for like 10 minutes. I think that's long enough, it might be too long. So I'm gonna do it 10 minutes, uh, you know, five minutes, flip it over to the other side. Then I have my skillet back here heating up. I have olive oil in there. So, I can 
see? So all the breading is like frozen on there. So I wanna move quickly. So I'm gonna get these in the air fryer first. But I feel like those are gonna take the longest. I feel like the ones in the skillet aren't gonna take that. All right, so when you use this air fryer, make sure you be careful because it's super, super hot. The parchment paper, put it in there. Now I said I'm gonna get three. Probably do four. Use this if they're first time using it. Do not stack anything on top of each other when you're using an air fryer because then it's not gonna fry as well because the air can't hit it. Okay, so I've got those going. Now we're gonna move over here. Okay, some light. Move over here and we're gonna start to put these in. All right, so the ones that are, that were in the skillet, they're done. I'll show you better um, look at those when the other ones come out. The ones in the air fryer got about five more minutes left. So those that are on the skillet took like three, four minutes. That's it. So I'm gonna let the ones in the air fryer go. They're not gonna be as golden brown as these are because I already flipped them over and I saw what they look like. But I'll show you one versus the other one so you can see which version you would like to, you would prefer to use. So, yeah. Okay, so they're done. Can y'all tell which one is which or what? Skillet, air fryer. So the air fryer ones look lighter because they didn't get, you know, direct contact with heat and skillet. So, yeah, I tasted some, the ones that got messed up, and they taste amazing, okay, so good. But, so, I didn't taste the air fryer ones, so I'm gonna taste one of those with the marinara sauce. Get out of here, so good, I'm gonna you. The kind that I got, and I'm very surprised, it's really good. Newman's own marinara. So that's the kind I use. It is keto grade B. So don't eat too much of it, but you can eat it. It's not like an F, so. Still good, but not as crispy, but they taste pretty much the same. You know, they came from the same uh, like bag of like seasoning, but I like crispy food. So, the ones that was on the skillet, fire. So good. Now, what I did notice when I was making them, first of all, the air fryer, 10 minutes was too long, like I thought. I thought they're kind of like flat and all over the place because I did it for too long. Um, so, I would do seven minutes, like, six to seven minutes if you do it in an air fryer. That's how long I would do. And then I had it at 350. I think that's a good temperature, but just the time was too long. Then in the skillet, um, some of them came out good, but they're just flat. See how the cheese is coming out? And then they're like flat like this. So I had it on like, if you have numbers on your uh, stove top, I had it on like a four. I would do it low. So I would cook them really, really low temperature because once that frozenness wears off, then they just become like this, like flat, like it's just melting. So you, as if you pay attention in that fast video that shows me cooking them, you'll see like two just got completely annihilated. So <laughs> I would cook it really low. They still taste good. So if you're not doing it for any presentation or anything like me, well, I guess I am presentation but you know y'all get the gist of what I'm trying to do but anyway if you're not doing this for like a fancy party or something like you're just doing it just for yourself then you know cook it with however temperature you want but 
Like, it's really, really good though. But, um, but cook it lower if you want to still stay in that mozzarella stick shade. Don't put the temperature as high, is my suggestion to you. But everything else was good. The coating is good. And I still, I could have just done, I could have just done the one batch of coating. I didn't need to. I still got a whole bunch left now in my refrigerator. But that's cool because I'm going to make some more of these. But anyway, um, yeah. That's all I said about these. They taste good in the air fryer or the skillet. Either way you want. <laughs> Any way you want. Marinara sauce good. I got this. I got this marinara sauce from um, Grocery Outlet. But I know Target has a lot of marinara sauces that are good for keto. Um, their brands, I think it's Simply Balanced. It's a, a blue um, wrap around the container. But I think their brand is really good. That's kind of I use when I eat my meatballs from there. And then this Newman's Own is good. So like I said, like I always say, get the Carb Manager app, scan everything if you don't know. I'm just going to Target, scan some for marinara sauce. But other than that, I don't have anything else to say, guys. This is a really, really good recipe. I hope you enjoy watching me make this. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, share it with other people, um, comment if you have any questions about anything that I did. Um, yeah, and that's it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Have a good rest of your day. See you in the next video. Bye.